How's it going guys? Toxic Nerfer here, back again with another review. And today we're starting to go to the Zombie Strike lineup. So today, we're going to be looking at two of the Zombie Strike Revenge Series Blasters. Which is going to be including all of the blasters, including the Contaminator. Which is also going to include the, the review after this one. Which is going to be the Zombinator. And our review today is going to be the Nerf Zombie Strike Revenge Super Soaker. Uh, did I see, is it an Infector? Yeah, Infector. <laughs> I was confused. And one thing I like about the Zombie Strike series, other than its great camo, which you can see right here, is, well, if you look at the cap, if you look at the cap, and you look at here, guess what that is? If you guessed it, you guessed it. <laughs> the, um, yeah, so this is like a, uh, kind of like, like, zombies know how to use weapons and stuff. I mean, people probably don't understand that. Well, if you know the movies Land of the Dead and Day of the Dead from the George A. Romero series, the zombies knew how to use weapons. Yeah. So let's go to the, uh, the functions here. We already got a one-shot nozzle in the front here. Again, none of this stuff is mine other than the dark fire right here. And all this is just my brother, my stepsister's toys. Like our last review, the um, freeze fire was not mine. So, and don't worry, this guy's gonna be getting its own makeover. But, go into this thing. Grip's comfortable here. This is by far one of my favorite handles in all of zombies, other than the Maverick. This handle is so comfortable, and it's like a shotgun style, like, um, peg here. And it's pump action. We got an iron sight, uh, right here. I wouldn't call this a sling point, but here's the, here's the way you can look down the iron sight. There you go. Um, cap's right here. It's a small cap. You, um, by the way I look, I think you twist, like, I think it's 90 degrees this way. But if you're looking, it's kind of like this way. But you twist it, and you pop it off, and then there's the small cap in here. And all you do is you align these two grooves right here. My camera sucks, I know. But um, you, you put those grooves along with the grooves in the, uh, the um, cap here. You snap it on, and you twist it back in place where this is facing. Pump, uh, you would expect. If you, if you can hear this, that's the sound of the, uh, oops, shit. <laughs> I fell on my slippers. Um, that's the, uh, air coming out, so that means that's, you can tell that's the water's coming out. And all you do is just push. It's like every super soaker these days in Nerf. But the cosmetic feeling of this blaster looks incredible. It looks awesome. You got, like, this green vial on here along with some ripped, charred pieces on the handle and the body. The biohazard symbol looks amazing. I gotta get, I gotta get me one of those. They look so nice compared to mine that I always make. <coughs> so, I, I, my, my brother's tested this thing. It's incredible to use. It's a lot of fun. Just that, I think he had a lemon because this pump grip, if you can hear, rattling. You can tell that it's rattling right here. Let me go closer. Like, it's like it's not staying put. Unlike the, uh, the, um, the Zominator, it's not rattling. And, and same with my, uh, dart fire. It doesn't fire. I mean, it doesn't, uh, rattle. I don't know. He probably got a lemon because my dad always says, if you're going for a toy or anything in a package, get get the one before that. Like, don't get the first one. Get the second one or the third one. Make sure you got the good one. You know. Um, and I always I always do what my dad says. I love my dad. He's my he's my family. So ranges are pretty good. It's 38 feet. Same with the dark fire. Same with the freeze fire. We'll talk more about the Zominator later. And the next review because this one's an interesting one um so would i recommend this um 
I don't know. Some people won't be a big fan of this thing, but I still would say yes. Because, heck, it reminds me of me. <laughs> Again, these aren't mine. Only this one. This one's mine. So, yeah, I, re I would recommend this blaster. It's really nice. It's by far pretty much a cool pistol. The grip is very nice and comfortable. I even, I, like, I have very small hands, and you can look. Like, I have very small hands. Usually with most Nerf blasters, my hands are fully on there. But maybe it's just because of this little trigger guard. I have no idea. But definitely would recommend the Zombinator. But this thing is not like the others where it you can fill ice because the nozzle is pretty small. So... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. It helps me out. And if you if you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. And I got the I got the Suicide Squad cup and the water cup for these days. I got my Call of Duty posters up for the for the vlogging channel. Go check that out. It's got so much subscribers. I want to say everybody, thank you so much. This ch these channels wouldn't be here without you guys. You guys are the specialist. You, you guys are special, you know. I, I, I really, I really, words can describe. Words cannot describe how, how, how thankful I am of you guys. Um, this is two years of age, this old blaster, so. So, yeah. Stay scary, and I'll see you next time.